conservative new media viewers and Jeremy Lin fans around the world. What's up? It's me, PFV, Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. Here is some breaking information related to Jeremy Lin. The Houston Rockets have waived Carlos Delfino and Aaron Brooks. Now, this move comes on the eve of Houston going to visit Dwight Howard, which will happen tonight, Sunday, June 30th, 2013, in about 10 hours from now. So around 10 hours from now, Houston's contingent, which includes Akeem Olajuwon, Clyde Drexler, Daryl Morey, Les Alexander, James Harden, and Chandler Parsons, is going to be meeting with Dwight Howard to try to get to convince him to come to Houston. So what this is, is Daryl Morey, the general manager, is clearing out cap space, salary cap space, so that the Rockets have enough money available to them under the salary cap rules to be able to sign Dwight Howard to a maximum deal. This information comes from Clutch Fans, by way of Adrian Wojnarowski of Yahoo Sports. And Wojnarowski reported that both players have been waived. Daryl Morey uh, said goodbye to both players on his own Twitter account. We'll get links for you and put them in the video description below the video player as soon as possible. Now, Wojnarowski said that the next move for Houston is to try to trade Thomas Robinson and take back no sal- or salary on the other end, so maybe trade him for a pick in the draft in the future, so that if they apparently if they get rid of Robinson, then they have enough salary cap space to sign Dwight Howard to a max deal. Now, how does all this affect Jeremy? It affects Jeremy because part of the speculation about Jeremy getting cut, or not getting cut, being traded, is that Houston needs the salary space. And as has been mentioned by uh, several people, including the commenter Joyce Ward, Houston is having trouble trading Thomas Robinson. In other words, there's not a very big market for people who want Thomas Robinson. And so Houston has to have more salary cap space to sign Dwight Howard to a maximum deal. If they can't trade Thomas Robinson, then they might have to trade Jeremy Lin. And that's probably why Jeremy Lin is not going on this recruiting trip tonight with Dwight Howard, because the team knows that they might have to trade him if they can't trade Thomas Robinson. So what this might come down to about whether or not Jeremy stays with Houston is whether or not Thomas Robinson is tradable, whether somebody will take him and his contract in a trade. And I I don't know the answer to that. Uh, There's been rumors that there were some teams interested in him. Of course, I told you guys yesterday that supposedly he was spotted in Boston's airport you know, I don't know if he was there talking to the Celtics. I have no idea. Uh, or there, you know, so the Celtics could talk with him. I'm not sure how that works or what was going on there. But that's where we're at. Uh, look, if the Rockets sign Dwight Howard and they, you know, they still might want to get rid of Jeremy if they want to bring on, you know, Josh Smith, who is a friend of Dwight Howard's. They still could do something with Jeremy even if they get rid of Thomas Robinson and have enough space for a maximum deal for Dwight Howard. We'll see. But the the first step on whether or not Jeremy's going to remain in Houston is whether or not Houston is able to trade Thomas Robinson. If they are, then there's probably a reasonable chance Jeremy will be in Houston next year. If they're not able to trade him, then there's probably a good chance Jeremy Lin is not going to be with Houston next year. So this is the latest. Uh, I'm sure Houston's going to, you know, they're going to have to see how the meeting with Dwight goes. 
I'm sure they're very active in looking for trade partners for Thomas Robinson right now. And, you know, this helps make sense with, with the uh, the Mark Deeks store the other day. Uh, Houston wants to unload Lynn. Uh, they might not want to unload Lynn, but they might have to unload Lynn if that means the difference in getting Dwight Howard or not getting him. So this is the latest. And again, this is very important for Jeremy. Delfino and Aaron Brooks have been waived. Now it comes down to can Houston trade Thomas Robinson? Does anybody want to take on his contract? That could be the deciding factor, whether Jeremy Lin remains with Houston or whether Jeremy Lin gets traded away from Houston. That's the latest for now. It is 2.11 p.m. Eastern Time in the United States. So it's about 2.11 a.m. in the morning, early Monday, July 1st, 2013 in Taipei, Taiwan. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs down, your comments below. Uh, once again, I am Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. Thanks a lot for watching Conservative New Media. We strive to be the number one Jeremy Lin YouTube fan channel. Stay tuned, folks. This is just going to, I mean, we're not going to know what's going to happen with this until we know what happens with Thomas Robinson, and then we're still going to have to wait. Uh, we're still going to have to wait to see what happens, even if the team gets Dwight Howard. We're just going to have to see what goes on from there. But the first thing to look for is, is can Houston trade Thomas Robinson? And uh, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned.